and also ever wondered what it will be like to own a billion dollar company. And now on Resources, a microcap company, has certainly stirred up some excitement with its recent announcement. Uh, the company declared its plans to acquire a whopping $1.7 billion worth of Bitcoin, causing a meteoric 1,500% share price surge. But hold your horses, folks. Let's take a closer look at this public interest concern. The OTC Markets Group, the firm behind OTC Pink, has labeled Nylum Resources as caveat emptor, a designation that comes with a buyer beware warning. The company has also been flagged as a shell risk, which suggests it might be a shell company. Wed flags, anyone? On March 25th, Nylon Resources announced its plan to acquire a company that holds 24,800 Bitcoin in exchange for newly authorized preferred stock at a discounted rate. Sounds too good to be true. Many crypto natives think so, with some calling in a marketing stunt. A uh, tour de mister, a uh, Bitcoin analyst and editor of Adamant Research was skeptical, saying it's indeed a stunt from a dying penny stock. Uh, Quentin Francois, crypto YouTuber, and co-founder section of where at social agreed, calling it a common tactic and unfailing small cap stocks. Uh, Dylan Eclair, director of market intelligence at Digital Asset Fund UTXO Management, shared doubts, pointing out that the plan relies on legitimate demand for the equity sale. In other words, it's not a done deal until the ink is dry. If now when resources succeeds, It'll hold more Bitcoin than any other publicly listed company in the United States, except for MicroStrategy. That's a big if, though. And the plot thickens. Former Nylon Resources CEO Ron McIntyre has cried foul over the announcement, claiming it was issued without his review. He didn't mince words, calling it all pump and dump scheme. Ouch. So will Nylon Resources pull off this ambitious plan um, or is it just a case of, of caveat emptor? Only time will tell. Um, with that said, thanks for watching and until next time.